Hey, what's up guys? So I've got a Mazefit Bip U Pro in the studio today. So I am going to unbox it. And it's actually a pretty nice watch from the specifications that I've seen online and heard about. So let's go through some of these specifications. It does seem like a nice balanced watch. And one of the unique features of this watch is actually that there is built in Alexa. So there is a mic in here. Anyways, let's go through some of its specifications quickly. And for that, I have got my iPad here and I have BitPew Pro specifications open up on its website. So we'll go through these from here. And right now, as you can see that it's available for $59.99 US dollars and it's on sale in US. So you can find it um, at discounted price for two more days. And there are some really cool features here. So we have 1.43 inch large HD color screen. Then we have a Spiro sensor here as well. And it can track 60 plus sports modes with five atmospheric water resistance. We have Alexa built in. And then obviously we can see all these specifications here. We have got 24 seven heart rate monitoring, sleep quality monitoring, high precision GPS, and we've got GPS satellite and GLONASS support here. PAI health assessment system and I've actually talked about this system in my Mi Band 6 and T-Dex Pro videos so if you've watched them you would know what this system is. Then we have got 50 watch faces and Alexa built in. So these are some of the main specifications and features of this watch and if we go up here we can go through some more specifications. So we've got 9 day battery life. It weighs just 31 grams. So now it's time to unbox this box and we are going to do just that so there's a tab to pull it out so there is this box here I guess this is paperwork yes that's what it is and then we have watch laid out here this is actually very undramatic unboxing of any watch that I've ever done. So it was just placed there like that. So anyways, let's open this up and take the watch out. So it's not that big and the display is actually not even full screen. It, it's really small actually, if you can take a look here. And at the back we have some sensors. It's good to see that the straps are removable. They are silicone straps, soft and they will be comfortable to wear. So there we go, we have the charger and I believe it's the same charger as we get for T-Rex Pro. And I also believe that it would be magnetic. So it is magnetic. It latches on to these pins and it's not as strong as I would have liked it. Actually, the one that you find on a Macefit T-Rex Pro is much more stronger and holds the watch for much longer. But anyways, that's the charger. So there you go. Feels all right on the wrist. It's not too big or too small and is lightweight, as they say, 31 grams. Now, I'm going to try and connect it with the Zap app on my phone and hopefully the process will be as simple as it was for a Macefit T-Rex Pro. So this one is a watch. So we'll use the QR code method and we'll see how long it takes to connect. So there you go. It's asking for the pairing request on the watch and the process seems very easy and straightforward. Bound successfully and done. So this is the most seamless way to connect your watch with your phone or the app on the phone. And Amazfit is actually very good at it because that was the same thing that I noticed with Amazfit T-Rex Pro. The process was simple and easy and straightforward. And it was the same for Amazfit BitView Pro as well. Now I'm just gonna have to wait it out for eight minutes while it updates the software and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm all set to go. The update has been pushed to the watch and it's all connected and all set up. So let me show you how this watch works. If you swipe down, you get to your quick control. So we have do not disturb here, alarm settings and brightness controls. If you swipe up, you get to your notifications. 
and here you can actually read through your notifications and some emojis if you press this button it will take you back now we have also got widgets here so if you swipe to the right or to the left of the watch face you get to your widgets so let's go through the list of these widgets so right now we have by default out of the box we have activity goal widget here then we have heart rate widget spo2 sensor stress widget pai score weather widget and then we have music control and alexa and back to the watch face and it goes the opposite order if you swipe to the other side now one really good thing about these widgets is that they are interactable so if i tap on this weather widget it will take me to the weather app and i can see it in more detail here now by default if you long press this button on the side it will take us to the workout app and here you can see all of your workouts now to go to the apps list we have to press this button and then we go into the, our app list and here you can see all the apps so we have got activity goal pai heart rate sleep app workout workout history spo2 stress breathing cycle training alarm settings and more let's go in settings first so here we have the watch face controls so you can go to the watch face from here or you can go straight from the watch face by long pressing on it so if i go in watch face here by default we have four watch faces installed and you can also edit these watch faces so you have these different complications you can select them and then change them so now i'm on the watch face you can also go in the watch face editor by long pressing on the watch face and do the same from here but anyways let's continue with the settings first then we have auto screen off controls here so you can set the timer for the screen off time then we have screen lock settings we have lit upon wrist lift so here you can turn on the feature where if you lift your wrist the display will turn on you can schedule it or you can turn it off and here you can set up light upon notifications whether you want the display to light up when you receive a notification then we have preferences and here you can set up shortcut apps so these are basically widgets that we've seen and you can rearrange them and also add them from here so in total you can have one two three four five six seven eight and two more can be added so at a time you can have 10 widgets and these are the ones that you can add to the widgets list and then we have a shortcut for this button so here press and hold and it will launch activity goal pai heart rate so by default workout is selected but you can change it to launch anything else if you long press this button you can also change vibration strength you can change time format and date format as well and then if you go in more here we have some more settings and more apps so here you can control weather settings alexa i'll do a whole video on alexa because for that i need to sign in into my amazon account for it to work and then you can have music controls here countdown timer stopwatch Pomodoro tracker, world clock, compass and camera remote and find phone. So all of these settings are tucked in this more tab here. So that was the complete walkthrough of the software on Amazfit BP Pro and I have to say that I am actually impressed with uh, the amount of features that this little watch packs into itself. Let's quickly go through the Amazfit app on the phone as well. Now here you can go in store and you can take a look at the watch faces. So there are a lot more watch faces that you can download and there are some really interesting ones. There are some really cool looking ones as well. Now sadly it does not support always on display or at least I haven't found this feature in the settings or anywhere. But there are some really cool watch faces that you can download. Let's see how quickly it does so. So if I sync one, it will start to download. It happens quickly. Now we'll see how long it takes to transfer to the watch. So one minute to transfer a watch face to the watch. That's a long time. Then we have health monitoring. So we have all day heart rate monitoring here, heart rate alerts, active heart rate monitoring, assisted sleep monitoring and sleep breathing quality monitoring because it does feature spo2 monitor as well so it powers the sleep breathing quality monitoring and then all day stress monitoring and i actually want to test the nine day battery life that amazfit claims for this watch by turning all of these features on and see how it affects the battery life then we have some watch settings here and wearing manner and you can select the wrist on which you will be wearing the watch so that's about it from this video guys this was the unboxing and walkthrough of the software 
of Method Bit Pure Pro and some initial impressions that I've shared with you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this watch and I'll be doing some more detailed videos about its features, cool features, tips and tricks and review videos, maybe some comparisons as well. Let me know what you want to know in upcoming videos. Maybe I can answer you in the comments straight away. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.